Hello guys, in this video, we will calculate the pressure drop in a pipeline where a laminar flow is taking place. We will do that by two methods. One is our conventional dash the back equation and hagen poiseuille equation. And then we will do a simulation in ANSYS fluent and we will compare the results. For our analysis, let us take a pipeline where fluid is flowing in this direction. Let us consider the length of the pipeline as 10 meters and the diameter is 0.02 meter which is very small and obviously the radius will be 0.01 meters and in order to calculate the velocity of flow we have taken a Reynolds number of 200 in order to have a laminar flow then we can calculate the corresponding velocity for that we know the formula Reynolds number is equal to rho v d by mu where rho stands for density v for velocity and d for diameter of the pipe and divided by dynamic viscosity mu and these are the values if you calculate we will end up with a velocity of 0.01 meter per second now let's come to the conventional calculations. First we will see the calculation by dash the waste back equation. This is the conventional one dimensional dash the waste back equation. Where hf is the head loss that is equal to 4 fl v square by 2 gd. F is the coefficient of friction. L is the length of pipe. V is the velocity. And D is the diameter of the pipe. Here the coefficient of friction F can be calculated by the predefined formula. That is different for laminar and turbulent flows. Since we have laminar flow, we have to use this formula. So here the coefficient of friction is equal to 16 by 200 that is 0 0.08. Let's substitute the values here in this head loss equation and that will give you a value of 8.155 into the power of minus 4 meters. So now we have head loss in terms of meter of water but we need to calculate the pressure drop. We know that head loss is equal to pressure difference divided by rho g otherwise pressure drop divided by rho g. So we can calculate the pressure drop by multiplying the value by rho g and we will get a pressure drop value of 8 pascals. Since the flow is laminar, the pressure drop is very less. Let's do the same calculation with hygen poiseuille equation. hygen poiseuille equation states that head loss is equal to 32 mu u dash L by rho g d squared. Here mu is the dynamic viscosity, u is the average velocity of the flow, L is the length of pipe, rho is the density and d is the diameter of the pipe. Let's substitute the values and we have got the exact value of pressure drop that we got from dash the back equation that is 8 pascals. Now let's move to the CFD simulation. To start the CFD simulation open the ANSYS workbench. Once the ANSYS workbench is opened click and drag the fluid flow fluent system into the workbench. Then right click the geometry and click new design modeler geometry. Okay, now the design modeler is opened. Click the XY plane and go to sketching. Make the plane normal to you. And now we are going to draw the pipeline that is having a length of 10 meters. We need not to draw the entire pipe. We can draw the cross section of that and we can use the axisymmetric model. So draw a rectangle that is having a length of 10 meters. So go to dimensions. Let's give the length as 10 meters. Give the radius of the pipeline. The radius that we have used in our calculation is 0 0.01 meters. It is very small and it's a long pipeline. Okay, now the sketching is over. We have to convert the sketch to surface. Click the concept and go to surface from sketches. Select the sketch and give apply and click generate. Now a surface has been generated. This should be defined as axis and this should be defined as inlet in the next stage. Close this design modeler. Double click the mesh. So now this is the pipeline. Let's name this inlet. So right click and drag to zoom in. Click this inlet edge and right click. Create a name selection as inlet. Similarly, move on to the other end. Right click and drag to zoom in. Click the outlet edge and create name selection as outlet. And this is the axis. Select this and create name selection as axis. By defining these name selections, this fluent solver will identify 
what is inlet what is outlet and where the axis is located so that it will consider a 360 degree pipeline since we use an axis symmetric model now click the mesh and give an element size of 0.002 meters and click generate mesh it will take some time because the length of the pipeline is very high okay now a very fine mesh has been generated if your computer is having limited computational power you can try with 0.005 or something now let's close the meshing module right click the mesh and click update then double click the setup to open ansys fluent leave the default settings and click start okay in the ansys fluent go to general and change the 2d space to axis symmetric then go to models double click the viscous model and change that to laminar expand the materials and fluid here we can see only air double click that go to the fluid database navigate all the way down to water liquid click that and give copy then close this now we can see water liquid is added from the library to our system double click that since we have used some round values during our theoretical calculation let's change these values also click change and close now we have just defined the properties of that water liquid we have to assign this fluid to our domain for the double the surface body change the material to water liquid and click apply then close it expand the boundary conditions the axis is by default it is defined as axis because of the named selection that we have given in the mesh similarly the inlet is defined as inlet velocity inlet and the outlet is defined as pressure outlet based on the names that we have given in the meshing now double click the inlet to give the magnitude of the velocity as we have calculated that is 0.01 for a reynolds number of 200 click apply and close leave the outlet pressure as it is because we need to have a zero gauge pressure at the outlet so that we have to calculate what pressure is needed at the inlet to maintain this particular flow that will be the pressure drop so the pressure which is required at the inlet to maintain zero gauge pressure at the outlet is a pressure drop that is happening along this pipe now let's initialize the solution give hybrid initialization click run calculation give 500 iterations and click calculate it may take some time depending on the capacity of your system when the calculation is complete click ok and go to reports surface integrals phase at average pressure static pressure at the inlet and the outlet click compute now we can see that the pressure at the outlet is zero as we have given at the inlet it requires 7.746 pascals to overcome the frictional resistance inside the pipe so the pressure drop is 7.75 pascals we have calculated similar value that is 8 pascals by our hand calculations it's almost nearer to that I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any clarification or, or have any comment, please feel free to post it. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.